In the last months, there has been a lot of speculation around the possibility of a fishing game being developed by Expansive Force. I mean, in the last year, the company has dropped many surveys in which, based on the kind of questions we got, we could imply that, perhaps, they had plans to develop another game. And well, it seems like we all were right. From the creators of the Hunter Call of the Wild, we are getting a new fishing game. This is the official reveal trailer. What is it about your hobby that keeps you coming all the way out here? Is it the freedom? Wandering in search of that perfect spot. You've made your own path through these hills. Tasted the fresh water of our lakes, our rivers. You've been on the water with friends at sunrise and helped the locals long past sunset. But you just keep coming back. At this spot, you got a pretty good idea what's lurking beneath the surface. But there's only one way to find out. Whether it's the one you write home about or the one that gets away, that feeling is what gets you up. That whether it's your first time or your hundredth time, you never know what you're going to catch until it's caught. Call of the Wild, the Angler. Call of the Wild, the Angler. It looks fantastic. Seeing those environments and hearing the voice of Colton Locke, which is the voice of the original Call of the Wild trailer, I mean, I gotta say that this really feels like what everyone wanted to see, which is the fishing version of the Hunter Call of the Wild. I mean, at a first glance, and knowing that it is gonna be an open world game, it looks like it's gonna provide us the same great experience, but with fishing this time, I mean, the chance of being able to explore a whole reserve in the freedom of setting up your own spots, it really adds a lot to a fishing game. And it seems like we're gonna be able to use vehicles and boats, and we're also gonna see outposts and watchtowers, which I guess are gonna work really similar to a single Call of the Wild. But well, apart from all these things, there is one main element that is gonna determine the success of this game, which of course are the fishing animations. We got a quick look, and I gotta say it looks really good. The animations we could see are great, and not only on the trailer, but also on the Steam page where we could see some different species. I'm not a fish expert, but there I can see a salmon, a catfish, also a whitefish I think. And up here they also mention the largemouth bass and the mountain whitefish. And here they also say that each species is gonna have its own behavior and traits, which means that it's gonna be required to carefully counter their movements. The game is also gonna include a system that simulates water temperatures as well as depths, altitude, and more, with the call of the term in where the fish populations will be. It sounds amazing. Now we also got a rough release date. As they mentioned in the description of the official trailer, the game is gonna come out on PC later this year, and then on consoles. It's surprising that we're gonna get it this same year. It's certainly surprising this is the first time we hear of it, and it already looks really polished. So perhaps we'll get it on November or December. Who knows, there's still no official release date, but if it is actually gonna come out on PC this year, and we just got the trailer, then I would expect to see it in at least 4 or 5 months. I would be extremely surprised if we get it before than that. 